Welcome to the spoken tutorial on simple loadable module. In this tutorial, we will learn how to implement a simple loadable module, create a make file, compile a module. To record this tutorial, I am using VirtualBox 5.2, Ubuntu Linux 18.04 LTS operating system, Linux kernel version 5.0.0-31 generic gedit text editor to follow this tutorial you should be familiar with c programming language and basics of linux kernel if not then go through the c or c++ and linux spoken tutorials on this website to proceed further Make sure that gedit is installed on your system. If not, to do the installation, follow the instructions in gedit series on this website. What is a kernel module? Code that is added to the kernel at runtime is called a module. It extends the functionality of the kernel without the need to reboot the system. It communicates with the base kernel to complete their functions. I will start with a simple example to explain how to create a module. I have saved a file simplemodule.c in a folder device driver in desktop. Please download simplemodule.c from the code files link of this tutorial. Make use of this file while practicing. Remember the file path. Let us open this file. Open the terminal by pressing alt Control t keys simultaneously. Press Enter key after every command. Go to the folder where simplemodule.c is saved. Type gedit simplemodule.c Let us understand the code now. At the start of the program, there are some header files. init.h file is used to start the init process. The module.h file contains functions related to the modules. The kernel.h file contains functions such as printk. Next line of the code is about GPL. GPL means GNU Public License. It is otherwise called as GNU, which is a free and open source license. You can keep the author name for your module using this macro as shown here. You can simply describe your module using this macro. I have given the description as first Linux kernel module. The init function will execute when a module is loaded into the kernel. So it is called as an initialization function of a module. If this function fails, then the error will be written. It will return zero to the kernel on successful execution. Initialization function prints a simple message and returns zero. The module init macro is used to register the init function. The exit function will execute when the module is unloaded from the kernel. It is mostly used to clean up the resources acquired by the module. The exit function will undo whatever the init function did. The module underscore exit macro is used to register the exit function. In kernel programming, printk is used as a printing function. It is similar to printf function in C programming. Using this function, string data will get loaded in the kernel log buffer. Printk has an optional prefix string, log level such as kern underscore info. Log level specifies the type of message being sent to the kernel message log. 
icon underscore info is used for informational messages. For more blog levels, go through the additional reading material link of this tutorial. Press Ctrl plus S keys to save the program. Close the file. Let us compile the code. For that, we have to create a make file. Type gedit make file. The make file is a special file containing shell commands. Press enter. Create a make file where you have saved the simple module.c. Type the code as shown. The obj-m variable tells the kernel make file that this module needs to be compiled. When you run the make all command, then commands under all section will be executed. If you run the make clean command, it executes commands under the clean section. Using hyphen c, we are running make command inside the kernel source directory. As you know, uname hyphen r finds the current Linux kernel version of a system. PWD means present working directory. This option tells the kernel make file that the source code for the driver is in PWD. The word modules tell the kernel make file to build the modules. But it will not build the complete kernel source code. The word clean tells the kernel make file to clean the generated object files. Save the file and close the editor. Let us compile the program. Type make space all. Now type ls. This command lists the files in the current directory. Here you can see the number of files created in this directory. The module.symbols file contains a list of all symbols. These symbols are exported from the kernel build. The mod.c file contains information about the module. mod.o file is object file resulting from the compilation of the mod.c file. This object file is created from the compilation of the module source file. It will list out the order in which the compilation and creation of the .ko file takes place. This is the final kernel module binary that is loaded into the kernel. Clear the screen. Let us see the details of a module. Type mod info space simple module dot ko this command displays the information about the linux kernel module the file name field contains a absolute path to the dot ko kernel object file this field displays a short description of a module author field shows author and license field shows the license of the module the src version field contains the source code version used to compile a module. It is calculated automatically at build time. The depends field contains all modules on which this module depends. It is shown empty here as this module does not depend on any other module. Redpoline field indicates that the module is compiled with Redpoline method. Modules must also be compiled with Redpoline Aware Compiler. Otherwise, the kernel can be vulnerable. Redpoline technique protect the kernel from the hacker's attacks. The name field contains the name of a module. This field shows the version magic number of a module. This version magic number is used while loading the kernel module. The version magic number of module and current kernel version should be the same. Otherwise, it will fail to load in the current kernel. Type 
make space clean. This command removes all object files that are created after the compilation. Type ls. Now there are no object files. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn how to implement a simple loadable module, create a make file, compile a module. As an assignment, open the simple module.c file, change the module description using module description macro, run the mod info command, see the output of description. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. The Spoken Tutorial Project will ensure an answer. You will have to register to ask questions. The Spoken Tutorial Forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use these discussions as instructional material. Do you have general or technical questions on this embedded Linux device driver? Please visit the FOSI forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project IIT Bombay. This is Mayuri Panjakshuri signing off. Thanks for watching.